They're supposed to be traffic calming. But the bollards on this road are causing accidents. A lot of them. How many crashes have you seen? Well, there's at least one a day. I've caught my car twice. I've had the wheel arches like done. So it's, yeah, there's always cars stuck in here. That one's been there pff, nearly a month now and it's not gone. It's crazy. Even the police get caught out. And this is the problem. Six bollards on Woodmere Avenue in Watford, made of steel and just seven feet apart. All these crashes have been filmed by Tim Viger and his wife to highlight what it's like to live here. How disruptive is it? Very, it causes chaos. Uh, the police are here, uh, sometimes the fire engines have been here because people have been stuck. You can see for yourself, it's carnage basically sometimes, on a daily basis. The road has actually been like this for 10 years. It's to stop heavy goods vehicles coming through, but it's causing a lot more problems for many other drivers. I, my car and uh, my van. How much does that cost? It cost me a lot of money. I, 800 pounds for just to repair a little bit scratch. Like this tradesman here, He's wrecking people's lives, you know, and their livelihoods. Who do you blame? I blame that sign for a start, that should be reading six foot nine maximum width. Then it will help the motorist not to go through there and cause the havoc they're causing. Hertfordshire County Council is responsible for this road. Do you realise you've got a big problem here? Yes, we do. A lot of residents, they're tormented by this because they hear crashes very frequently. And I feel for them and I've been here and I've watched it myself people with larger vehicles trying to get through and also people with smaller vehicles who don't perhaps quite know the width of their car. So it's obviously not working perfectly? No, it's not, no. And so we really we've got to find a better way for a long-term solution. One long-term solution the council is exploring is to get rid of the bollards completely and to use traffic cameras to find the big vehicles coming through. Rags Martel, ITV News, Watford.